all right hello everyone and peace of christ all of you i hope my voice coming good and clear and please invite your friends if you care for this topic as you see in the front of us this is nasa website and uh, uh, they are reporting about a climate change and how a climate change is changing everything now you know we cannot say that nasa is lying uh, obviously there's a climate change but the story is i, I think i believe uh, it's not what really they try to scare us with it. You know, uh, there's many people they support the climate change for many reasons. Uh, number one is an agenda, uh, which means they use a fact for something else. There's many organizations, they collect hundreds of millions of donations uh, to fight climate change. But can you really fight such a thing if it exists? Uh, I believe it exists, but I believe this is normal. All the climate change, all the carbon they are talking about is existing on this earth. Uh, or let us say caused by cars and manufacturers. Uh, the volcano of the Philippines, if it explodes, is going to cause more than all the what we have in, in a few days. One volcano can really generate more than millions of, mil millions of cars for years. So what we have in the earth is in the earth already. I mean, nobody is generating anything. It is in the earth. The carbon, the carbon we have, it is in the earth. And the earth always adjusts itself. This is a system is created in a certain way uh, to survive and to live. Uh, so climate change, I believe, it's something normal to happen. Uh, something, uh, you, you know, burning and etc., uh, it might cause damage for like let us say health uh, because it's not healthy to have a smoke in the air uh, it, it might cause a, uh, uh, you know like even uh, increase the heat of the atmosphere but I believe at the end of the day this is something normal happen it happened always and it goes backward forward which means what is uh, what is a global warming today uh, maybe centuries from now they will start talking about ice age actually I saw an article uh, about a few months ago, uh, talking about the Earth is going to hit an ice age. So, once scientist groups are saying we are facing a meltdown for the ice, and the ice is disappearing, and other uh, scientists they are saying that the Earth is going to face an ice age. So, which one of them is telling the truth? You see, what it's called today science is just a study of a pattern, pattern of change, but doesn't mean this will be a science. As an example, you know, uh, uh, if you want to study the age of the earth, what they do? Or let us say, uh, how, how old the, the, the sea? So they study how much salt come to the sea every year, and then we can calculate how much salt percentage is in the sea. And then we can calculate through how many years this salt came to the sea and how we have this, uh, you know, happen. But this is a false study because salt coming to the sea, nobody can measure it. It's impossible. And uh, uh, what come in a year, it doesn't mean it's going to come every year because rain can be different, flood can be different. Uh, many things have changed. This is not a faucet where the water drops randomly in the same speed forever so their study is really not too much of science it is just a study of pattern and the pattern is based on what you know not based on what what happened uh, so if you see in the front of you they are calculating for you years like how the increase happening and how the movement happening through years but who said that earth is going to be affected by years you know if uh, this is earth this is all very old uh, uh, planet and uh, what you are calculating is what you see right now uh, same for those who they are saying that the earth is going to face uh, ice age the same reasoning the people they claim is, is speak about the global warming is the same reasoning used for the ice age theory which is crazy i mean which one of you is true they are the opposite but they are using the same method, they are using the same reasoning, and both of them, they are speaking about the same thing. <coughs> Sorry. So, obviously, 
uh, what they are coming to us with is false. Actually, I, I discovered the reason for global warming because I see a Muslim in the chat room. And uh, I don't want to talk about it because then the Muslim, they will say the first one who discovered the reason for global warming is the Prophet Muhammad. Actually, I'm going to change the, the name of the, my video and say the first one who discovered global warming is the Prophet Muhammad. As an example, Prophet Muhammad, he said, each time a Muslim he pray, shaitan he do fart. And we knew we knew what farting is contained. Farting is contained a gas which is caused a global warming. So Prophet Muhammad, he is the first one to discover the reason for global warming. This is shaitan. How many Muslims we are in the earth? And the Muslims they are saying we are increasing number. So every time a Muslim he say, Allahu Akbar, shaitan he fart. So that's mean Prophet Muhammad he discover he predict the global warming will increase because more Muslims will happen and more farting will happen because the more you say Allahu Akbar more farting happen which is very scientifically accurate you know and actually if you put the fuse in the anus of shaitan to measure how much farting he is producing and only Allah knows how much I mean Allah he is the one who have the meter to uh, tell us how much right so uh, uh, but what we see in front of us here that we have the Muslims theory which is very scientific it is shaitan farting which is coming from Prophet Muhammad and his God Allah himself well, there's no way can be mistaken I mean you know Allah how good he is or uh, uh, you know NASA or the the Russian team who came the scientists I saw this is Russian article uh, that ice age is going to hit the earth maybe in 15 or 20 years so everyone is giving us the opposite of what you know from each other but i think the most convincing side of the story is the farting story you see uh, the shaitan he fought nobody can hear it except prophet muhammad because the prophet muhammad he have a special ears his ears is very big the same as the ears of allah so they are sensitive actually muhammad he have a special sensor for farting so human being cannot really hear the shaitan farting but prophet muhammad because of his uh, 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 you know uh, very sensitive for farting actually his ears is designed for farting censoring i heard that there's a new technology in japan they are they, it's called muhammad uh, uh, frt uh, you know like frt like short from fart uh, muhammad frt it's a technology to discover global warming caused by the farting of the cows because cows they you know produce a lot of fart so you know the, the let us say uh, you know we have to agree with the prophet muhammad that uh, uh, shaitan farting is a mere reason and maybe we should stop uh, growing cows too you know because cows they fart a lot but i don't know why muhammad did not mention the cow but he mentioned shaitan but i'm thinking how we can uh, stop uh, global warming Look, look what the Prophet Muhammad is saying. Please, please show respect. He's a scientist. Each time you call for the prayer, so we should ban the call for the prayer. If we ban the call for the prayer, shaitan will not fart. And that will reduce the global warming issue. Actually, we might hit ace age right away because obviously shaitan fart is destroying the earth. Okay, we have 1.4 or 2 billion Muslims. The Muslims, they say 6 and 7. You know, the next two weeks from now, they will say we are 2 billion. Just wait. And if everyone of say, Allahu Akbar, shaitan, he fought. Oops, I should not say that because shaitan is farting now. I just, I, just, I just put my share now in global warming. I should not say that. I will remember not to say this word again. So each time you say, uh, 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 shaitan, he fought. So if we, if we make a law by United Nations to forbid any Muslim from saying that sentence, we will reduce in like in a dramatic way the number of farting around the earth. Shaitan will not fart no more because you see Shaitan he don't fart from like getting cold or you know no or eating beans no he fart only when the Muslims call for the prayer. So now we have the reasoning so we can find the solution. You know the solution uh, will you know will come with the correct. Uh, uh, you know answer so forget about NASA you know NASA FASA remember what Muhammad said and it's the problem is solved now going back serious you see uh, uh, 
more flooding. I mean, hold on. Isn't those scientists, they say to us that the earth wants to flood all of it? They, 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 they approve, like, see, we have in, in, in the Bible that the whole earth was flooded. The scientists, they agree that the whole earth is flooded. Does that mean there was a global warming at that time? And there was cars? Now, for us as a Christians, we have a story behind it. For them as scientists, what they have? The whole earth was covered by water. But there was no cars. There's no, uh, you know, Shaitan was not farting because Adam is not on the earth yet. Supposedly, according to their, you know, they are talking about millions of years. So, uh, uh, you know, uh, all those studies, which is supposedly scientific, I say, they are scientific somehow because it's like uh, science is, is a practice of pattern of a study, but doesn't mean it's accurate. Uh, like right now, USA is hit by a huge snowstorm, but we have a global warming, and it's really, really cold. You know, uh, some places they have a 12 foot, five, you know, 15 foot of a snow. If you go to Canada, it's getting crazy. So the global warming, I don't see any really, really global warming, but it might be a climate change in the like location in the Earth. As an example, like. Uh, According to the scientists themselves, that Arabia once there used to be an ocean, and desert used to be in different location, which means there's areas now which is very green, and now they are turned to be desert, and uh, uh, vice versa. So look like the Earth have its own balance, and it balance itself, and the global warming. Is, uh, is a repeated pattern in the earth long before cars is exist. You know what I mean? So I believe that this is not, uh, not a much accurate uh, uh, reasoning. Um, and you know, they need to answer the scientists who say that we are not facing global warming, we are, we are going to face an age of uh, ice. Uh, we have some Muslim kids, they can say to us, us, call Farid. My friend, I will call Farid. Give me his number. Give me his, his Skype. I will call him. <laughs> Who is scared? <laughs> you, you Muslims are a bunch of potatoes. Who is scared? I keep saying, call me. And I said, I will call him. But the coward, he will not even give me his Skype. I will call him. Give me, give me his Skype. I will call him right now. Potatoes. You are a potato. Your prophet is potato and your God is potato. All of you are a bunch of potatoes, and you, you the, only, the only thing you can do is this, like shaitan. Huh. Fart. Too much noise. Too much fart. Call him. Like, I'm going to call him. Where is it? Okay, let me, I called the Muhammad Hijab, but he did mute him. Hang up on him. Did you remember? Didn't I call? I am the one who called you. Potatoes. All of you are a bunch of potatoes. Look, I see me, me hijab. Did I call? What he did? He hung up on me. After three seconds, potatoes. <clears throat> no, my friend, we spanked him already. We made a challenge for him. We made a challenge for him. I call it 100 spank challenge. Did you, did you watch the video? That is a spank because if he did not accept, that is a spank. He said he want to debate me publicly. I mean, so why you are making the video not publicly then? If this is not public in YouTube, so why you are making videos for me in YouTube? You see the cowards? When I debate him only publicly. Well, how is that going to happen? Coward, potatoes. So we made for them 100 spank challenge. We said, okay, let us see who is going to spank who. Let us have a live debate. And, you know, uh, I will never hang up on you. You never hang up on me. You speak as much. I speak as I want. And let us see. The, the, you know, everybody will see. But they are potatoes. They are scared. They are terrified. Uh, okay, follow me. Let me send you to Allah. Using the N-word, filthy, like your prophet. Anyway, so those are kids. You know, we don't want to mention their names because they don't deserve it. If they, if they are really men enough, you know, okay, this Christian prince is causing trouble to Islam. A lot of Muslims leave Islam. And now we are going to get him busted. Okay, what we would do? You know, Mimi Hijab, he, he said to the Muslims, who you want me to debate, this guy or this guy or this guy? They said to him, Christian Prince, what he did? Did he debate me? No. He did not. 
Coward. He have videos he play. Did you see this? I start saying two words, he hang up on me. <laughs> anyway. Uh, anyway, you know, for me, it's for our benefit. Remember, if, if for our benefit as a Christians, if the Muslims make a lot of videos against specific, specifically me, especially with those, I, I'm like, even they post pictures, like, do you even know how I look like? Not even a single Christian like David Wood do not know how I look like. Sam Shamoon do not. Nobody knows how, who, who those pictures you are posting. Do you, do you Have you ever seen me? Potatoes. But anyway, the more they make videos, you see they are, they are fighting Christian prince, so he will not deceive Muslims. But I'm not deceiving, number one. Number two, you could not answer me because all what you said in your videos, it's funny and it's stupid. You don't dare even to call me. It will be an amazing thing if those people, they have the courage to call me and should I say, okay, you said this, show us how this happened. Okay, do it. But they don't dare because they knew they are incapable and they are the, they are the scam, they are the fraud. You know, why Christian Prince, he opened his Skype, says anyone can call me. They don't do the same. Why they don't say Christian Prince call us? And when I, why when I call them, they hang up on me and they don't let me talk? Because simply they are intimidated. They knew they are not in my size. And the funny, by the way, they say Christian Prince don't speak Arabic. Well, let us say I don't speak Arabic. So what? I speak uh, gibberish, like your prophet. Sharkarauda, uh, Sharkaradoluri. And... So you can't answer me. I mean, Arabic is my first language, and the funny, uh, uh, you know, like if if you if you see the comment of the Abdul, their prophet himself do not know how to read. <laughs> Christian Prince, he do not know how to read. <laughs> my friend, I do not know how to read. I do not know how to write. I'm Muhammad. I am Muhammad. You have to obey me. Stupidity is amazing. Uh, so don't waste your time with those kids. We get them busted already. And they have no courage to call us, to debate us. If they have really courage. Do you remember the guy who called me? The guy who called me just two days ago. Go watch the video. Because he was watching Fifi videos. So he said, okay, I will use Fifi, uh, li thi Fifi lies against Christian Prince. And I will show Christian Prince that he's a liar. He called me. I said, okay, which one? He said, uh, okay, the story about Paul. But the same uh, uh, story you put for Mimi. I said, okay, this is the story. Show, show me where it says what you are saying. He could not find it. Potatoes, they are liars. So uh, Muslims, it doesn't matter what Fifi and Mimi they say. They will say, Allah Akbar, you are right, brother. You got him busted. I never saw a Muslim, by the way. He didn't get me busted. Not even single one. All of them. For us, the important is they are leaving Islam by thousands. They like it, they don't like it. You can lie as much as you want. I'm showing in the screen. I challenge Mr. Farid uh, to tell us about his profit discovery of farting and global warming. No, CP. It doesn't say that, CP. You know, it says that, you idiot. <laughs> So anyway, there are a bunch of kids. I like kids. I don't mind. And the more they talk about me, the more they bring me more Muslims to listen and watch my videos. So I, I consider what they do something positive. It is positive, you know. Uh, it's not really negative. Many of you think it's negative because a Muslim, he will stop by, he will watch. At the end of the day, he will, you know, he have one of two re uh, things to do. Either he uses a brain and leave Islam. Or say, you know what, this guy, whatever, even if he's saying that, even if it's true, I'm not going to leave Islam. Okay, no problem. At least I did my part. All right? So this is all is for our benefit and it's not really for their benefit. So let them make videos and enjoy their videos because we laugh at it and we enjoy it. The same as, uh, you know, even, even this guy, nobody is watching his videos. He's so small. But, you know, the, the Mimi Hijab, he is so upset because I spanked him badly after the debate with David Wood. You see, what happened, if you remember, when David Wood have his debate, if we can call it a debate with Mimi Hijab, uh, Mimi Hijab, he start making mockery, and the majority of the uh, people who present in the place are Muslims, laughing, etc. So it was, it was, a very, it just, it was just a mockery. And, and David Wood is a very polite person. And that make Muslims think that Mimi Hijab, he won the debate, the fact he destroyed Islam. 
And then I made videos respond to this debate and I spanked Mimi Hijab on no mercy. And this is what make Mimi Hijab so upset. And then they thought about how we can fight Christian Prince. We are going to do editing for videos. And then we go and we collect videos. As Christian Prince, he's saying to a Muslim woman, suckle me. I was reading for her what her prophet said, you stupid idiot. And your sister, she is a very bad woman. And we played the video. She said something very dirty about Jesus. So look how filthy they, they're trashy. They could not debate me. They don't dare to debate me. So they think maybe we can frame him. This is their level. So don't go down to their level. Just do what you need to do and continue. In the Middle East, we say, uh, you know, uh, the caravan walk and the, and the dogs bark. Let the dogs. Who let the dogs out? Who? 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 You know? They, you know, the one who they are gentlemen, the one who they are smart, and the one who can refute us, they are welcome. But they don't dare. I mean, where is the one Where is the one who is going to refute me? And we want to debate Christian Prince publicly. What is that? Isn't it too publicly? What does that mean? What, 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 what publicly mean? Uh, so if YouTube is not public for you, why you are there? Why you don't go to the street? When the last time this, uh, uh, this uh, Fifi... He went to the street and he, uh, like, he teach publicly. Go publicly. The, the, the speaker corners there, they are making fun of you and you cannot answer them. You know? We saw you publicly, what you do. We saw you in YouTube, what you can do. And, you know, in, in YouTube, it's not public. Here we go. I just opened my broadcast. I have uh, almost 500 people watching. I did not even, I'm changing the time. That's why I have a little number. Otherwise, we will have a thousand something. So, uh, uh, publicly, not publicly, this is uh, all is just, uh, you know, kids excuse. Uh, how come they debated many people online? This guy, Fifi, Fifi, isn't it him who debated uh, uh, apostate prophet in YouTube? So, how come he accepted to debate the apostate prophet in YouTube? Simply the answer very simple. He can say, so he can say to him, no apostate prophet, you don't speak Arabic. But he cannot say that to me. They are intimidated, you know. Did he debate a state prophet in YouTube? He did. He did. Right? So how come he there, he did not say, I want to debate a state prophet publicly? Even though both of them, they live in England, you know. I mean, the same country. I don't live in your country, you potato. Secondly, I don't go in the street and debate people, and I'm, I'm not going to waste my time, even my money. Flying, going somewhere, hotel, and why do you want to do that? I'm sitting here in my short, and you cannot answer me. I have, I'm, right now, I'm wearing my short. I have a cup of tea in the front of me, and the window in the front of me, and there's a cat in the window saying hello. What do you want more? What publicly? People from around the earth, they can join in YouTube. There's not, not, nothing more public than YouTube. How many billions are using this program? I mean, how public we can go more than this? In order to set an event of 400 people, you need, if it's like in people in press, uh, the present, they will come. You need maybe a month in advance to set for us, send invitation, reserve a place. Here we go. We just open. In 15 minutes, we'll have 436, 500 people. So, Excuses is very easy, and you know, he is not. Uh, well, not don't mention this Snader. The Snader is a kid, he's a mentally ill. I feel sorry for him. You know, you guys, you should be, you should, you should, you should, you should understand. There are some people they have mental illness, you should not even get close to them. The Snader Ahmadi have mental illness. <clears throat> uh, you know, he make fun of uh, David Wood. He have kids who they are like, you know, they have special needs. Yeah, you know, this guy, he knew, you know, he he was sending emails to the Muslims. He want to beat them up, you know, play karate. They are kids. If you want to, if you want to talk about people, speak about people who have sheikhs, somebody. Why you bring those names even there? I mean, it's an insult to you, insult to us. This guy, he liked people to talk about him, by the way. This is the whole issue. <clears throat> anyway. It's like, you know, jumping in the garbage and you wonder why your clothes get dirty. Don't go there. 
Uh, anyway, we go back to uh, global warming, and I, I believe strongly, uh, with evidence of science, that Prophet Muhammad is the best scientist who discovered global warming. And uh, I think we have to, I'm, I'm thinking to create a cork, to put it in the anus of shaitan. So like every, every shaitan when he is born, or maybe a welding machine, or you know what, we can use stitches. So we can stitch his anus so he will not fart. And that will save the earth from a global warming. Because Prophet Muhammad, for sure, he is not kidding. He knew. He knew what's happening. You know? I mean, I don't care really what NASA says. I care what the Prophet Muhammad is saying. Because this is, this is, this is all pure science. Proven scientifically to be true. And it's sahih. I mean, this is not to be weak. You know? Which means this farting is sahih. It's correct uh, farting. You know? And uh, if, if, if this is, is this teaching here in front of you did not convert you to Islam, I don't know what will convert you. If farting could not convert you, who would, what, what will convert you? You know, think about it. How Prophet Muhammad was able to hear the fart of shaitan, but nobody can hear it. Only Prophet Muhammad. Mm -hmm. So you say, Allahu Akbar. Oh, I should not say that. Shaitan is farting now. Oh boy, the smell. There is a smell here. Unbelievable. Yeah. So, going back to our topic, uh, global warming, I believe, uh, it, it, it can be true that is a global warming, but I believe it is true too that the earth have a cycle. You know, like when you install a radiator in your house, oh sorry, uh, called air condition, an air condition, an AC, in your house, what happens simply is the, uh, the air condition is moving the heat from one place dumping it in the other place which means it take heat from your house put it outside it doesn't change anything it's not really there's no change it's just removing the heat from a place it's like a vacuum machine suck dirt from here putting it there which means nothing change it's the same it's just a matter of changing the location or changing what is exist already so the cycle is exist, the heat is exist, the cold is exist, and the earth can go in ice age, as in this article say, you know, says. Let me see if I can find this article. Because it's totally contradicting, and this is scientific article. This is not Christian Prince or, you know, Muhammad, the, 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 the madman. You know, this is supposedly uh, a scientific uh, article. Uh, let us see here. I will try to find it. Give me a second. Ice Age. I'm trying to remember what uh, was the name of uh, Ice Age. Hit the Earth. And I think it was saying 15 years. I mean, look how close it is. Ah, here we go. Actually, this is an old article. I want to find the newer one. But anyway, probably uh, okay. Okay, we found an article here. Probably look. I mean, look at this. Uh, probably won't be an ice age in fifteen years. So they are expecting to have ice age in fifteen years or mini ice age you know so i mean like every every scientist he give you his own uh, theory and we know we now we have to deal with theory everybody have his own theory the guardian uh, i mean it uh, mini ice age uh, myth is back so look they fight each other about who, who is the myth and who is the scientist you know Uh, Earth is hidden for many ice age in 15 years. Scientists says, you see, scientists. They say scientists says. Regardless who is, you know, I mean, obviously they are opposing each other. There's a group who speak about the global warming, and there's a group speaking about a freezing uh, a time coming. Uh, look here, global freezing in 15 years, ice age to hit in just four years, as whatever scientists they say. Eh, you know, so. By the way, you know, global warming or freezing, uh, I mean, uh, for me, 
uh, I have a solution for all of this, you know, because, okay, let us say you are, you, you know, suddenly ice age happen and you want to warm up. How you do it? I will teach you a secret. Just please don't share it with your friends. You go back to the Prophet Muhammad teaching. If you are sitting in your room and the room is a freezing because of ice age and to avoid dying, just say Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. And then shaitan, he start what? Doing farting. And you know, the fart is warm. That will warm up your room. And the beautiful about this fart that you can smell it and you can't even hear it. So all what you do, get a, a, like a recording, <coughs> a, a recording uh, audio of Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. And shaitan, he like, you know, but you don't hear it and you don't smell it. Beautiful. And that will warm up your room and you will be your... Actually, why you guys are paying money for warming up your house now in USA? We have a we have a snowstorm in USA. You do not need to do uh, you pay for gas and etc. Just say Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar, Shaitan fart in your house. Shaitan will be warm. Actually, you, you might even uh, get... You have to be careful. Don't say Allah Akbar too much because you might even be burned because of the fart of Shaitan. It's too much fart, you know? Do you think the, cons the the global warming is a conspiracy? No, I don't think it's a conspiracy. I believe that it there is facts. It's true about global warming, but those uh, facts they are using for you know in, in in wrong way. And I believe this is a global warming same thing is normal, very normal, same as a free you know uh, like age uh, like uh, I would call it ice time is is normal. Uh, the Earth is have a cycle. It's a cycle, you know. As I said, like the one volcano only can be more and done all the cars in the world for maybe a year or two if one one uh, one volcano erupt. So I mean, that's that's not really. And even if it exists uh, because of cars, I mean, what you can do about it? It's impossible. All of this is impossible. Uh, but i think it is just uh, propaganda at the end of the day is used for political agenda political agenda to control uh, consumers uh, you know because you know if if they can adopt such a belief and enforce rules based on this belief they can generate billions of dollars as an example uh, i remember uh, al gore he was saying that we should force all houses to paint the house all the house including the roof by white color so imagine the companies who make paints how much how many billions will do make from this suddenly are enforcing even they want to paint the street with white which is very nice by the way <laughs> so you know they they come with the they create issues to scare you and those scary things will make you behave in a certain way uh, like when uh, uh, you know when uh, joe bite me the vice president of uh, uh, the other bite me, Obama, uh, he speak, if you remember, we have like a virus, I think it's called the the the, the pig flu, whatever I call it, flu. Uh, they start talking about it, people there start taking vaccine, you know, they spend hundreds of millions of dollars, and at the end, there's only two people dying from it. This came the whole world. And Joe bite me, he says, if I am you, I will not go in the train or any public transportation or any airplane. Like what happened, man? If you hear them, you think that the earth is dying. There's only two people died from that flu in USA. Just two. Yeah, the swine flu, swine flu. Yeah. So they, they make they make it a huge problem. Every TV stations, everybody rushed to a hospital to take a vaccine, buy the vaccine, because we will die. You are dying. That's it. Everybody is dying. You know, if somebody's, <laughs> you know, the, the swine flu. So, and they start killing uh, uh, pigs and they start killing animals everywhere. And it's a, it's a, it's a massacre. Uh, poor villagers, like in, in Egypt, the Muslim, they use this as excuse against the Coptic. So they slaughter thousands of pigs, but there is no flu there, you know, but just because it's an excuse, you know, there's a flu is coming, so we will have to kill all the pigs. And by the way, even this flu have nothing to do with pigs. This flu is called the swine flu, but it's not, have nothing to do with, this, with the swine. I mean, it's madness. So they always create things to, to, to control the consumer, 
you know if i can spread the propaganda right now that a war will happen tomorrow and everybody need to drink clean water more no more clean water will be like uh, the water will be uh, uh, became poison because of radiation or something everybody will start buying water you know and everybody will start buying uh, canned food it's you know you can you can you can change the the, the market you can up you know make a human being go crazy and then they will spend all their saving in something not exist uh so you know like earthquake is increasing oh, there's earthquake always i don't see it increasing even some people who they are religious they try to use this for propaganda you know some some men who claim to be prophets you know there's many of them trashy garbage people who claim to be prophets like muhammad uh earthquake uh, god is punishing you you know make you know, give it charity give donations you know to scare you and then you start giving donation because judgment day is coming right but those earthquake is happening every day you know normal it's nothing nothing really uh, not, nothing not a big deal you know especially uh, the depend where you live if you live in japan every day they have between 500 to 1200 i think earthquake every day some of them they feel it some of them they don't feel it depending how how tough it is so they uh, uh, there is many they use what happened what's really happening for their own fake propaganda and a global warming the same here muhammad muhammad is trying to make muslims believe that uh, your prayer have a power and what is the power it makes shaitan fart which is convincing by the way because it happened to me sometime you know now the muslim they will say see shaitan the christian prince is shaitan <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, so anyway uh, you know this is a propaganda used by some powerful media and even uh, uh, big organizations or government organizations like, like NASA you know uh, not everything there they say is made let us say pure science you know there is propaganda there there's always propaganda behind things. <clears throat> there's many agencies that are going to shut down if there is no global warming. <coughs> Which means, to make you believe in global warming for them, it's a must to survive their existence. They are receiving uh, uh, billions of dollars uh, through years uh, to do nothing studying global warming i mean uh, like uh, there is a uh, there is uh, some uh, ships uh, who supposedly have scientists they go in the ocean and they study the ocean and uh, some of them they are specialized in global warming effect so if nobody believe in the global warming who is going to sponsor those ships nobody where they will get their money so they use a global warming which is scary for many to do something else i don't believe they are studying global warming i think they are doing their own scientists which is good scientists study but have nothing to do really with the global warming so let us say i want to go uh, in a vacation uh, to uh, uh, to indonesia and i tell you i'm a scientist and i'm going to study volcano in indonesia but the fact i'm going there to go to be in the beach you know so they use the they 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 use what is is really exist for their own benefit and they scare you more about it all right uh, so uh, for me i'm not really about this uh, not worry about this uh, global warming thing uh, because i believe even animals they don't the funny don't they you they themselves they believe in evolution don't those scientists believe in evolution those especially the atheist so they school us about it, uh, evolution 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 so what are you worried from if evolution is exist, all the creatures in the earth, they will they will change the way they are. The elephant will stop drinking water. He will go to evolution. He will drink Pepsi Cola, yeah. And the crocodile, instead, you know, eating, uh, you know, in the swamp of Florida, uh, he will, uh, you know, he will move uh, to a different place, uh, you know, vacation in uh, uh, Nicaragua, right? <clears throat> no no you see global warming is just a propaganda it's exist it's exist i'm not saying it's not exist but i'm saying it's a normal cycle the earth have a cycle 
it's like like the, the, the we have four seasons winter summer you know this is how the earth is so the earth have a cycle and the cycle is moving you know they themselves the scientists they say to you that the earth sometime it was having suffering from ice age okay so ice age and then now a global warming and then some of them they are saying no we are going to face ice age not a global warming i believe whatever happened it is something normal if it's ice age or it is a global warming i think the earth it is a system created in a certain way to adjust uh, what's happening around it or inside it and a human being always you know uh, uh, fear is the best uh, drive you see muhammad when he when he make the muslims go to for war he he used two things tempting and fear if you don't go for war allah will make your face a face of a donkey or he will make you uh, if you don't believe in me allah will will, will erase your eyes uh, but if you fight for me allah will give you versions you know and here is the same if you don't do this this will happen to you so we scare the whole the, the whole world to force people to do certain things you know to buy certain things to spend in certain way and i will not be surprised if big 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 uh, corporations is behind the global warming sponsoring idea because you know those those corporations they will make a lot of money from this global warming you know the funny that all those who speak about the global warming they have a, a four-wheel drive fancy big cars and yet they are asking us to stop driving i don't know if any of you have been in nasa nasa in california i i know i i went uh, to that uh, I, I went to i went to lockheed which is uh, you know connected to that uh, nasa uh, where they make the most powerful uh, weapon I mean, there all of them they are left. All of them. This, this is a, they, most of them they are left. Like if you are a scientist there and you are not from the left, they will not even give you a good job. Uh, everybody driving big car. I did not see one person driving a, a car run by the battery. You know, all of them they are driving the most expensive, fancy. You know, which you do not need it. I mean, why you want to drive uh, uh, a car with a, a, a big engine? when you are just going from home to work you know i mean what what for uh, el gore who was making a speech about the global warming asking us to turn the light of the kitchen when we leave the kitchen and the light of the bathroom when we leave the bathroom he used to take his own jet his own airplane imagine just to fly to make a uh, you know a speech so they scare you about don't waste energy save energy so you can save the earth don't burn fuel but they are willing to burn a lot of a fuel so to come fly and make a speech all right natural phenomenon my friend uh, abu sadat in order for me to say that word you wrote for me in text i need like two weeks give me give me like, give me a time because i'm like muhammad i don't know how to read natural phenomenon feminine feminine i don't i don't want to go there my friend <laughs> i'm just joking kidding yeah so yeah it's a natural thing you know it's a uh, it's a cycle and things go you know go around as they say what what uh, what uh, go around come back around you know yeah so it is normal uh even if it's if it's hot or if it's cold i think it's very normal uh but you know somebody want to scare you and make you believe that your uh, the fire you make in your backyard is causing global warming uh, the fact you know the earth is full of magma and this magma if little tiny part of it explode you cannot imagine what will happen to the earth so the earth is exists in a way created in a way and the creator who made this earth he will make it survive as he wish and a human being uh, you know burning gas and burning etc can increase uh, let us say temperature of the earth but i don't think that will affect really life as they claim yeah i know this mean word uh, anyway this is all what i wanted to share with you and again if somebody can make a manufacturer so we can stop a global warming according to uh, prophet muhammad as you see here um, because shaitan is farting 
we can, if we can find the cork, you know, or you know, if we can ask the the scientists who do the DNA change, what if they make a DNA for Shaitan? When Shaitan give birth to a baby Shaitan, he have no anus. This way, he will not fart. And this is can save the earth from a global warming. I know. I I, I think NASA should start talking about should should study carefully the teaching of Prophet Muhammad, starting from splitting the moon. You know. By the way, do you know that NASA they have a picture of the moon split? The Muslim they post a picture of a, a valley in the mount and in, in the moon, and they say, "Brother Allahu Akbar, NASA they discover." Uh, the crack which is uh, uh, the Prophet Muhammad he's well, what a crack you have a crack in your head you idiot it's a valley we have many valleys like this in the earth and the Quran says Allah he split the moon not a crack what a crack not a valley those people have a crack in their head you know too much hashish yeah we need to put something in the in the butt uh, hole of the shaitan to uh, to prevent him from producing this uh, uh, methanol uh, farting which is according to Muhammad he eat poo poo and he eat bones huh poo poo and bones uh huh okay in the 80s they were worrying about ice age I'm telling you yeah yeah uh, I mean they, they can drive the consumer to buy things uh, because they want to, you know, they scare you. They want to take your money. You spend it. You get scared. You spend it. Right? But regardless if it's true or not, if there is a global warming, nobody can change that. And it doesn't matter if you stop all the cars in the world from going in the street or not, that will not change. That is that even a stupid idea to say, uh, you know, we can change it. Nobody can change it. Uh, and uh, why why we don't stop flying? I mean, how much how much the airplane burn? How many cars they are equal to one airplane journey from USA to Europe or to Asia? Stop the airplanes, global warming people, huh? And don't drive cars. All those who they are in from the left who keep talking about global warming. Okay, why you don't want to save the earth? Why you don't stop taking your car? Why we don't go back? Go. I want to see. Hillary Clinton having a donkey uh, to go to office. Use donkey, but they will not do it. Not only that, each one of them she have like a fancy car, big engine, and ten cars in the front and ten cars in the back, bodyguards, and all of this. They speech, they give you a speech, you the poor you, that you are the one, uh, you know, causing the global warming. Yeah, actually, Russian. Russia and they said not many you know the many they are talking about it's going to be maybe uh, I mean long this is not many uh, many compared to a thousand of years you see this is not really many so uh, uh, some scientists they're saying that there is there is a an ice age to come and this is a, a theory they keep repeating it I heard this long time ago you know about ice age look this is in the year 2016 uh, this is which year it doesn't say this is 18 here it says a myth so they are fighting each other yeah but I saw the article just uh, you know uh, f a few months ago again uh, it was by a Russian scientist uh, let me see if I can find uh, the article give me a second I will change the filter Maybe we can do that all the time this year. Let's see this year. Um, <clears throat> A little ice age back to future. I don't know. Like, look, there's tons of uh, articles. Speaking about the ice ages coming, you know, those are 2019. Yeah, anyway, uh, you know, uh, I believe that's there's too much propaganda involved, 
and you do not know who is telling the truth about what will happen and I believe none of them knows what will happen what is Imam Moraz you know uh, you see look at your name Milla to Ibrahim Hanifa just to show you how stupid your prophet I don't I don't answer potatoes who don't dare even to call me and say uh, you said that so let us laugh tell your Fifi to call me so we can laugh but look what you call yourself Milla to Ibrahim Hanifa just to show you how stupid Muhammad is Muhammad he claimed that Ibrahim is Hanif and Hanif mean kafir <laughs> What a stupid donkey your prophet is. Hanif is a kafir, is a pagan. So you're a prophet Muhammad saying that Ibrahim was a Hanif. He's a pagan. And he is taking the pagan belief of, of Ibrahim. This is how stupid your prophet is. Hmm? Yeah. Imam Abu Shakha. كيف حالك يا إمام أبو شخة؟ I mean, look who's talking. You know, if they follow a prophet, he, you know, do you know that the prophet he pissed standing in the street in the front of people walking by? The pissing prophet. I mean, don't you have a dignity, <laughs> prophet? What are you doing? He grabbed his ass. Prophet, what are you doing, man? People are walking by, going by. And not only that, they say to him, Assalamu alaikum. I can show you the hadith. This is your best man. He is the one who is causing the ice age. Do you think your, your prophet was making ice in the desert when he unzipped and he grabbed his private part in the front of women and children walking by in the street? No wonder in the Middle East, they, they, all of them, they do it. You will see a Muslim man walking in the street. Bzzz, he took his thing and he start pissing. Women walking by, children walk. We don't care. Bzzz, you know. That's the truth. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, no, and then uh, he, they came with rule that you should not say salam when the when when somebody is pissing. Don't say assalamu alaikum if somebody is pissing. Because the Prophet did not answer when people say to him, Assalamu alaikum. Look like he is enjoying the moment. And this is another reason for a global warming, I think. You know? Uh, okay. Let us see. I'm looking for the hadith actually. I found uh, I found videos of Muslims busy in the street. <laughs> oh boy. <coughs> hmm. Let us see. Anyway, we don't want to change the topic, even though it's very, maybe we should talk about it in a different time. Uh, let us see if we can find this one actually. Oh boy. Huh. 
There's a garbage next to the wall, and the prophet, he came and he, he you know, he, he want to he wanna increase the number of the, the smell of the garbage, so he decide uh, to urinate on the wall of the neighbors. Yeah. Amazing. Uh, okay anyway uh yeah you know uh, uh, the fly go to to the to the garbage and the bees they go to the flowers you know the prophet he he well is that a street he's missing on who goes in the street is that a street and there's a wall there who was in the street <clears throat> hmm? do you want to call me mr the one who didn't agree not only that actually your prophet he received the quran when he was doing piss and poo, -poo. What do you think? Da, 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 da. And not only this, uh, the prophet when he piss, after he piss, he clean his hands by touching the wall. He wipe his hands in the wall. Let me show you the hadith. Hold on, let me find it. Are you there? Where is the Abdul? <laughs> and look how he clean his hands. Okay. What he was doing there? Let us see this hadith here. Uh, yeah, let us see Al Bukhari. All right. Prophet came to the of Jamal and I greeted him, but he did not return, return back. Read till he went to Ahmad. What to Ahmad? You know what uh, to Ahmad? <clears throat> okay, let us see another hadith more clear. Yeah, this one, and look, he cleaned his hands in the wall. Let us see this one. A person happened to pass by the Messenger of Allah. May be peace upon him when he was making water. <laughs> he was making. He was making what? He was making water. <laughs> How he make water, brother? I mean, what kind of a translation? The translation is your prophet was making water. You really? How he make water? Your prophet is a water maker. I mean, look at this funny translation. I was look, looking at the first translation. I did not understand anything on translation. The Arabic says something. The English says something else. And now look at this. The guy was walking by. Assalamu alaikum, Prophet. What the Prophet was doing? He was making water. This is the Muslim translation to make it look nicer. He was pissing. Hey, my friend. 
no you have a house you can go to your house you don't piss in the street this is in the street as you see people walking by so don't tell me at that time what at that time what at that time this is a street people walking by as you see the man walking by saw him pissing assalamu alaikum muhammad muhammad not answer why because he's busy making water <laughs> A man passed by the prophet while he was urinating. Ah, this guy, he changed the translation here. This is not making water here, he's making Pepsi Cola. And he greeted him, as -salam. The messenger of Allah said to him, If you see me in this situation again, don't greet me. <laughs> I wish I have a video camera at that time. النبي أبو شخة يشخ واقفا فقال لا تسلم علي وأنا من الشخاخين محمد زعيم المرسلين So don't greet me please when I'm pissing Hello I want to see Muhammad he's turned his head and he's holding his private part Hey next time don't say السلام عليكم when I'm pissing okay Okay, Prophet, okay, I will not do that. This is what happened exactly, read it. And the guy, he said to me, where it says that kids and people are walking by and women. Well, a man, he said to him, because he's a man, obviously there's a kid, this street. Your book claimed that Elijah was naked for three years. He was in the desert, you idiot, Abu Sadat. He's in the desert. He's naked in the desert. There's nobody. Do you swim? Do you, do you go in the bathroom, uh, take a shower naked or not? today okay no problem you know we can spank we have a lot of spanking here we go do you see it your prophet muhammad saying that allah he stole the clothes of moses because people they accuse that his balls is a small of have have a harina you see look abu Huraira said that the you know, prophet said that he was afraid to expose his private part because he had been suffering from a scortal arena. He one day took a bath in the water and placed a, his garment upon the stone. The stone began to move on it quickly, and he followed that and he struck it with the help of the stone and the help of a stone, saying, Oh my stone, oh my garment. And he kept running. And then until he arrived between the Jews and everybody saw his balls. And then they noticed that his balls is big and beautiful. Do you see the story? So you're a prophet. He made Moses go naked in the street, run between the Jews just to prove to them that his balls is healthy. Even, even stones in Islam, they serve Allah and they are thieves. I will never put my clothes in, the, in, in a rock beside the beach. And then, brother Musa's, look, 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 brother, look, do you read with me, Abu Sadat, read it? And Banu Israel, the children of Israel, had the chance to see his private parts. Parts? How many of them? Of Musa's. And they said, by Allah, Musa's does not suffer from any element. <laughs> so you can imagine the Jewish women there, that they see, they see the balls and the, <clears throat> of Musa's, and they say, like, wow. Like, what the heck is that? Do you see it? Mm. Get out of here, Abu. No, I did not lie. I prove it. Here we go. Even here, your prophet is making, your God making Musa's expose Benu Israel. All the children of Israel, they saw the testicles of Musa's. Get out of here, coward, son of Muta. I mean, I show them in the front of them and they say, you are lying. You lied. Your prophet is pissing in the street and walk on women and men and children they walk by. And here we go. A man who have no dignity, filthy man. Al Rasul Shakhakh Shakhakhun Bawalun Kathirul Bowl Mabwala Tula Arab Ilahul Bowl. Dam Yakun Abul Haul. 
I never heard about this hadith. Oh, you will hear a lot here. Just, you know, give me a reason to give you a hadith, I will give it to you. You see, if this Abdul did not talk about it, I will not mention it. Yeah. <clears throat> no, CP. It doesn't say that, CP. Lie number 110. Christian Prince says that the prophet he used to piss in the front of women and children. Where it says that? You idiot. In the street. Your prophet is pissing in the street. And do you think only one man was passing by? This is a guy who knew Muhammad. He said, Assalamu alaikum. Children and women, they will be shy even to look at him. At this filthy man. Can't your prophet, I mean Mecca is a few houses. can this filthy man, he hold his private part from pissing for like a few minutes until you go and do it behind the wall of your house? <clears throat> Actually, in Bangladesh, they have a big problem. So what they do, they write Bangladesh, Pakistan, all Islamic countries uh, because of pissing in the wall. So they write in Arabic on the wall, so people will not piss because they don't speak Arabic. And uh, you know, let me let me find you the the news. You know, we are not making things up. They are following their prophet steps. Let us see. At least Arabic language tends to be useful somewhere. Do you see it? Business Insider. Bangladesh uses a sacred Arabic to stop uh, peeing in public. Do you see that, brother? Do you see it? Hmm? So if you don't want people because, you know, they, they piss everywhere. They piss everywhere. You know, we, we talk about dogs, right? Like, bzzz, dog, wherever he go, he sniff and piss. Muhammad, he do the same. Look at this. And they are following his step. Pissing everywhere. No dignity, no ethic. In front of the children's. The same as their prophet. Exactly. As you see. But brother, look, the prophet, he taught the guy some ethic. It's not right to say, Assalamu Alaikum. When the guy is doing pissing, you see, he, it's not like them. It should say, "Sorry, I should not do that here." No, the problem is the guy saying "Assalamu." This is the problem. You see the problem? Do you see Muhammad? The problem with this guy now, he is saying "Assalamu alaikum" during the time of pissing in the street. It's not him the problem. It is the guy. He made a mistake. You should not say "Assalamu alaikum" when I'm doing bupu. Do you see the problem, my friend? The prophet is schooling the guy. Why? Because he is not polite. Shame on you. Shame on you that the prophet is holding his penis in this situation. What is the situation? The prophet is the, the private, the prophet holding his private part, his penis. And if you see me holding, huh? don't say assalamu alaikum. Shame on you. You are a stupid idiot. Learn some manner. So, who is the bad guy? The guy who say Assalamu Alaikum, not the Prophet. Rude, very rude. Disgusting rude. You should not say Assalamu Alaikum to the Prophet. When he's holding his private part. I mean, shame on you. This is the private part of a Prophet Allah. This is a special private part. Yeah, in this situation. I like the Muslim translation, by the way. And the funny, they say, okay, where it says women and men, uh, women and children. So this is, this road was only for men? Is that the highway for men only? The rijali faqat. Garbage in, garbage out. بيتصدروا في الهيفة يلا بيتصدروا في ايه في الهيفة الهيف محمد 
بيتصبر ويقول له ايه مش شايفني مش شايفني بشخ يا ابو شخه انت اما ولا ايه انت حمار يلا طب انا ماسكه طب سيب وانا سيب لا والله مش حسيب لا سيب انت ايه ده ايه ده ايه ده ايه ده ايه الحلو ايه الحلو ايه الحلو الامور ده ذا بروفيت ماسكو وبي ومشرعه always the translation of muslims is really really so good i don't want to, i don't know how many here speak arabic i wish all of you speak arabic it would be really funny because in arabic i'm different person by the way I can make you die. I, I can make you die laughing literally. <clears throat> uh, and you know, like you know, you see the problem here. That honestly, there's there, there's some people are rude. I mean, you are standing in the in the street, and you are unzipping your <clears throat> and you're holding your mm, and now a guy you want to say assalamu alaikum. I mean, you stupid idiot. What is your manner? Show respect. The guy is holding his private part now. This is why it's called the private part. But not for Islam. In Islam, private part is public. You know, I imagine myself like I want to debate Farid or Mimi, Mimi Hijab. And then I will wait until they are pissing. And I will say, Assalamu alaikum. And I will say to Mimi Hijab, Did you say inshallah before you start pissing? <laughs> inshallah. Stupidity, amazing. <clears throat> oh boy. Uh, <clears throat> if we ask any one of those Muslims, do you pee like the Prophet and people walking by, or you don't do that? Hmm? Do you think? Do you think this guy he was rude when he did Assalamu alaikum to you? Why your Prophet he was upset from the guy saying? Let me tell you why he was upset. You want to know why he's upset? Who, who knows why he's upset, you guys? Who really knows why Muhammad was upset from this guy? Anyone knows? You see, we are hearing, we are, we are not hearing the voice. We are just reading text, correct? And that can make a big difference. So imagine Muhammad is pissing. And then the guy, he said, he did not say, Assalamu alaikum, all he said, Assalamu alaikum, Muhammad. Which means we saw you, you idiot. You got, got, you got you busted. You are a filthy man. And this is what makes Muhammad feel guilty. So he's upset. Like the guy, he's saying Assalamu alaikum, which means we saw you. You know what I mean? Like if somebody committing a crime and somebody saying Assalamu alaikum, like we saw you. We, we are here. We are here. Huh? So. Muhammad, he was he was getting busted, and now he is upset. So he said, "Don't next time say that to me, because obviously the guy is not saying assalamu alaikum. He's saying to him, you are an idiot, you are filthy.'" انت بتسلم علي وانا بشوخ يا راجل يلا اختشي دنا العمدة دنا عمدة كفر الشخاخين يا راجل محمد رسول الله الشخاخ الأول انت أهبل يلا ده الرسول بشخ حتى شخاخه خالص من تبر الذهب there is a hadith that says that when the prophet he pissed the earth open its mouth and suck his piss and his poop which is smell like perfume what was a Muslim want to say to me? I'm lying. Hmm. Too much coffee? No, he don't have control of it. You know, it's like... It's like a puppy. <clears throat> Are you an Albanian? Who is an Albanian? Surya? Surya Wadha Ya Rajul. By the way, here I have like 
a hundred citizenship. Everyone start guessing where I'm from. Some they say I'm uh, Lebanese, some they say Egyptian, some they say Syrian, some they say Jordanian. I became Sharkas now. I became a Sharkasi from uh, from from Shishenia. Imagine, very close. All right. Anyway, uh, I'm a black, blonde, African American from Japan. Hmm? Uh, let's see. No, I'm not black, blonde. I'm black, blonde, African from Japan. There is different, by the way. And please don't say to me "Assalamu alaikum" when I'm doing this. Please come on. <clears throat> you know, even with my dad too. That's amazing, because you know, when my mom and my dad they give birth to me, they were hijacking an airplane. So I have like international. They, wherever they go, they say to them, "We cannot let you land," you know, with the airplane. They gave birth to me during the time of Yasser Yasser Arafat. Yasser Arafat, not Yasser. Yasser Arafat. Palestine, huh? This guy is saying I'm a Palestinian. Oh, okay. All right. Things is getting improved. You are not Egyptian. I'm not Egyptian. Okay. <clears throat> Anyway, I'm born from light, Shia, yeah, yeah, and from the grandsons of Muhammad, we are light of from light. <laughs> All, right. <laughs> um. All right, anyway, I just wanted to share this topic with you, and I think it's a uh, we have to be smarter, you know, don't be under the influence of, uh, there is a global warming, there is a global warming, but I don't think anyone can stop it if it exists. And I don't think uh, those people who speak too much about the global warming, uh, they are even mentioning the issue because they can do something about it. As long as much as it is propaganda to, to collect benefit from it. I am from Norway, exactly. You know, I don't know what happened to my blue eyes. Yeah. The Muslim professor tells me that the verse of Estonian was abrogated after the death of Muhammad. That is... You know, okay, hold on. How in the world you can abrogate a verse which is you want to practice? I mean, what the point? What, what is the point? Imagine... We have a law, we have to practice, and now you say it's abrogated by writing but not and reciting, but not by practicing. How stupid is that? I mean, why why you are going to take a verse which you will practice? Why you want to take it off? <laughs> but it's gone. <clears throat> North Korea, yeah, exactly. Jing <laughs> All right. لماذا لا تفضح نصوص القرآن التي نسخت من الكتاب المقدس؟ I know we do that when uh, there is you know there is always we go by a topic and when we go live on air when somebody a Muslim says something usually they are the one who drive me to go somewhere you know like he says something I I get embossed with it oh please don't talk about the Buddha what the Buddha mean African Buddha what the Buddha mean I thought you are saying Buddha. Brother, uh, you mean a brother, brother, a uh, brother, brother, okay. <clears throat> no, actually, we discover why, uh, you know, climate change. You know, we showed you that the prophet said that shaitan, he fought, right? So, you know, shaitan fought, and that explained everything. There's more than a billion Muslim a day saying Allahu Akbar many times a day. And you can imagine how much fart that will generate. And uh, that is the reason behind the global warming. And it makes sense. Muslim number increasing by birth, and that means farting increase too. You know, there's a relationship between Islam and farting and global warming, as you see. The Prophet Muhammad proving that. 
So what we need to do, we need to ban people from saying Allahu Akbar because that shaitan will fart. Or we can say, Muslim, can you please say it like not with a speaker or loud voice? Like Allahu Akbar, you know? Because suppose the shaitan, he fart just because he don't want to hear it. Um, you know? So he don't hear it. I mean, I feel, I feel like, how in the world that can happen? The Muslim today, they are using uh, electronic speakers. So how shaitan is going to cover by his farting the sound of the Allahu Akbar? <clears throat> You know, in Turkey, I don't know if you saw it in Turkey, when when the adhan started, Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar, the uh, the Turkish people they start whistling, hey, like you know, they, you don't want to hear it. It's exactly brother, the same as what the Prophet Muhammad saying. Those are shaitan. Did you see it? And Erdogan was so upset. Yeah, because most of those areas in Turkey they don't believe in Islam and they don't, you know, they, they don't even respect Islam. <clears throat> Oh boy. Shaitan fart worse than cow. You see, we I, I did not we did not experience. I want I want to call NASA and ask them about your question because this is a deep, deep question. The only one can answer this uh, thing is NASA. And by the way, there's a there's a Muslim scientist. Scientist, they, they call him scientist. Let me hold on, let me let me show you the video. Give me a second. He told them in TV, brother. That the American, when they went to the moon, brother, they found an X-ray hmm, coming from the Kaaba, and then the American they published that in the internet in public for seventeen days, and then because they are afraid that. Uh, 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 people will here we go this is the video you see it ray of light from Mecca and this is can be found in discovering Islam but you can find it here in the YouTube you don't know just right ray of light do you see it and, and look at this faithy liar stupid liar when the American went to the moon there was no public internet Internet made by the Pentagon. It is the Department of Defense in USA. There's no internet, you idiot donkey. So, brother, and when they saw that a lot of Americans convert into Islam, there's no internet, you donkey. When the American went to the moon, there was internet in the houses of America. And why we don't see this X-ray? Okay, now this is a long time ago. Why you don't take it? You, Muslim, you have satellite now. Take a take a snapshot of the X-ray coming from the from the Kaaba. The only X-ray is coming. I see it is from the private of your private part of Muhammad when he pissed in the street. There was an X-ray. To the point, the guy he said to him, "Assalamu alaikum, Muhammad." So he said, "Don't say assalamu alaikum." Do you see it? I mean, those Muslims they they accept any lie, just lie. I did not see any Muslim saying, no CP, there is no ray coming from the Mecca CP. It's a lie CP. What the heck? And what? They published this in the internet for 17. I mean, why 17 days? I know, I think he said 21 days. I don't want to play the video. They will claim copyright over it. But you can search it. There is translation. You see this subtitle. I see it there. Translation made by the Muslims. It's not a true CP. <clears throat> yeah. What a bunch of a crackhead. And this is in TV. And the guy supposedly is a scientist. Okay, now Emirat, they have satellite. They don't make it. You know, it's made by the foreigners. Uh, Egypt have satellite. Uh, I mean, many Islamic countries have satellite. They own them. Oh, take us take a picture of the x-ray why oh why always american discover those x-ray stuff you muslim can't see it the american can see it oh boy by the way guys i i, I, I want to share with you a true story but i'm uh, i'm i'm afraid if you if i tell you this true story you will not believe it okay um once I woke up at night 
and I found an X-ray coming. Maybe I should not say from where. I'm, I'm really. <clears throat> this is very embarrassing. Uh, I found an an an, an X-ray uh, uh, coming. Uh, <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> okay. I need water. Sorry, it's very hard to 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 say the truth for the first time because this is a true story. Actually, I'm sweating. I apologize. I need medicine actually because uh, I feel very nervous. Uh, I, I I saw uh, an X-ray. This is once uh, from the X-ray machine in the hospital. You believe it? You don't, don't you? <laughs> I know what you were thinking. I know, I know what you were thinking. No, it's not what you're thinking. <laughs> the X-ray was coming from the X-ray machine in the hospital over there. Unbelievable. X-ray is coming from the Kaaba. Who need uh, who need NASA and FASA and SASA? I mean, here we go. The Muslim discover things nobody discover. X-ray and there is and not only that. The guy I don't know if in the same video, he said that the gravity in Mecca is zero. Like what? 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 Zero. The magnetized field. Magnetized. Magnetized. Look at here. Magnetized field is zero. If 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 if. <laughs> It's zero. <laughs> you stupid idiot. If this is true, electricity will not run there. You will not have electricity. I mean, stupidity is amazing. If there's no magnetic field, it's zero. Electricity will not run. I mean, just say anything, any lie to make people believe. And then people say, Allahu Akbar, brother, this is true, brother. Brother, this is true. Hmm. The same as Muhammad, he said that the city of Mecca and Al Medina, there is no uh, the, the what they call it, Al Humma Safra, the flu. What do they call it? What do they call it? Let us see. <clears throat> Anyway, so like they, they will never enter Mecca and Medina, and then the, and then the disease come and kill most of the people of Mecca and Medina. What a liar! Uh, You see, I'm trying to find the hadith. <clears throat> okay, hold on. This is how the liar he got himself busted always. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let us see if we can find it. <clears throat> Hmm. Okay, let's see this one. Here we go. Do you see it? 
and then the disease come to the city and a lot of people die and potato Muhammad <coughs> Uh -huh. Muslims, did did the plague enter the city of Al Medina? And Muhammad is a false prophet. He said, "Plague will never enter the city of Al Medina." It's in front of you. Go right now and search how the plague entered the city of Medina. Huh? Muhammad is a fraud officially. And this is Sahih al-Bukhari. You can't say to me it's weak and you know the garbage game. A lot of people die from this disease in Al-Madina. Muhammad is a false prophet. Right? CP, he said he is ready. He will call him. Our friend, we are always ready to call, you know, and to speak to Muslims. It doesn't matter what their name, and this coward he will never dare to do so. He knew his size. It's him who is not accepting, not me. I'm here. My uh, Skype is public. Anyone can call me. It doesn't matter who is he. But they are potatoes. Potatoes, potatoes, potatoes. Will fly over. Ah, he will fly over. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, let him fly. I'm waiting. Let me give you my address. I am. I live under loot tree in the heaven, next to the Nile River. <clears throat> I mean, have you ever heard of a stupid prophet more than this who claimed that the Nile River is in the heaven of Allah in the sky? And the Euphrates. I mean, this prophet not only is a donkey in geography, he is a certified donkey. Muhammad, he opened Islamic discovery channel. Finally, he found where is the Euphrates coming from. It is in the heaven of Allah in the seven sky. If you don't believe me, read it. Forget about those kids. You know, we don't want to talk about those kids every two minutes. When you challenge your CP, he want to fly to your CP. Just do it, I'll be like, potato. You see, people who talk about doing things, they are the coward one. If you are a man, just do it. Here we go. I'm here. Call me and get me busted. Tito. No, because there is fake donkeys and there are certified donkeys, you know? And certified donkeys, we have to, like, they, they earn they earn the respect. They earn the degree. I mean, they did not get it because they have a cousin somewhere, like, you know, no. In the White House or... No, 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 no. This is, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, yeah. Muhammad, he went to the seven heaven. And he found the, the the river of the Euphrates, and uh, let me see another hadith. Muhammad he never lie. I mean, it's it's obviously. It's not like his his he he make living from lie. No. There is a tree, brother. It's called Sudratul Muntaha, brother. In there. This is there's a tree. This is the this is the border of Allah. You arrive there, you cannot go after that. Uh, you know, here we go. Even the angel, he cannot go there. And this is the airport of Allah. Airport. As you see, this is where they land. Yeah. And there is in the year, brother. There's a tree. This tree. You can go underneath of it for 100 years. <clears throat> and look at the description of the tree. Gold, butterfly of gold. Butterfly from gold? Okay. Uh-huh. 
all of those amazing stories uh, there is another river Sihan wa Jihan the influence of the Assyrian brother four rivers are from the rivers of Allah in heaven Sihan wa Jihan Euphrates and the Nile so if you are an African and you are from Sudan brother or if you are from Ethiopia brother you are mistaken where the Nile River is coming from brother it is coming from the heaven of Allah brother and we have the proof not from discovery channel from Muhammad the prophet of Allah Allahumma salli wa sallim ala ala you know wa wa rasul al-shakhaqi wa alihi wa sallim okay the prophet who pisses standing in the street not only he piss but he discover amazing <clears throat> how he knew this hmm? how he knew this how the prophet he knew this that's amazing La 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 Okay, let me see, hold on. I said to myself, I will go online for 15 minutes. You see, guys, I talk about the global warming, I will finish what you did to me. Hmm. <clears throat> I will open my sky for a few minutes to see if there's a Muslim wanna call me. Maybe you never know. Mimi, Fifi, you never know. Maybe they changed their mind, became brave, or something. Okay, I open my Skype. If there is any Muslim would like to call me? Any Muhammad would like to call me? <clears throat> Anyone? May they, may they? Anyone? They are brave, but you know, but they need to drink some stuff. Any Mohammedan feel like he is brave to call? My Skype is open. Before I leave, my friend, you, this is your opportunity. Hello, hello, it's me you're looking for, I think he have a plan, he is going to fly to Japan, hello, he is not afraid to call me, he is waiting for mom and daddy, and then he will do it. Hello. Yeah. Okay. When he, uh, you know, he have a plan. Let me know. I uh, know. Okay. Your plan. You have a plan. The same. All of you, you have a plan. The prophet have a plan to pass when he's standing in the street. Allah have a plan to crack the moon, but nobody can see it. I mean, the plan is working. Obviously. You know. I don't know. All of you have a plan, brother. 
This is why Muslims watch my videos and leave Islam because your plan obviously is working. Hmm. Okay, refute yourself, debate yourself when the debate alone. Potatoes. Potato, 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 la 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 la. I like to dip the skin. You know what? To be honest with you, Mr. Bean, he made more, I mean, he make more sense than your prophet. Mr. Bean. Compare between anything Mr. Bean he do and anything your prophet he do, and you will see that Mr. Bean is more convincing than Muhammad and his God. Have you ever heard Mr. Bean saying something stupid like this? <laughs> he did not do that. Even Mr. Bean will not say this. What is this? The guy he went to seven heaven, he lied to you, and then he found that your fatis and, 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 and Nile River, they are there? Muhammad, he heard about those two big rivers. He have no idea where they are coming from. Eh, I went there, and I found where they are coming from. Where Muhammad? Tell us, Muhammad. I told you, don't say assalamu alaikum when I'm pissing, okay? Hmm. Muhammad now is talking. Now, yeah, Mr. Bahim. Imagine <clears throat> the God of none. I hope you are a Muslim, are you? Hold on. Why I have no ringing? There's a, somebody trying to call me, but there's no ring. I'm not sure. Let me ask him first, are you a Muslim? For some reason, there was no ring. But I saw on the screen somebody trying to call me. Let me ask him if he's a Muslim. Don't call me unless you are a Muslim. He's not answering. Okay, I think he is not a Muslim. Only Muslim, please call me. If you want a Muslim, call me before we leave. Anyone? Mayday, Mayday. No? <clears throat> uh okay this person is calling me but he is not answering is he is a muslim or not if he is not a muslim hello uh christian Prince. yes yes i want to say something real fast about the hadith that you posted about uh muhammad saying that the uh nile and the euphrates river yeah. is among the rivers in paradise are you a muslim my friend are you a Muslim? Hello? Yeah, I hear you. Are you a Muslim? Hello? You are you a Muslim? No, I'm not a, no, I'm not a Muslim. Okay. But I have to say something is it what you just proved actually destroys something that Muhammad said because can you hear me? I hear you, I hear you. Go ahead. Okay. What you said proves that Muhammad is a liar because if he is saying that the rivers the Nile and Euphrates, Euphrates is among the rivers of paradise. He just proved himself a liar because the earth was created after paradise. So how can they be among the rivers of paradise if the earth wasn't created till after? Since paradise is supposed to be eternal, so how can they be amongst the rivers of paradise if no, but you see, the, the this, this is not, after paradise. Yeah, this is not the issue. The issue is Muslim. They believe paradise is in heaven, is in the sky, not in the earth. So Muhammad here is being stupid, because the 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 Euphrates and the Nile River, they are 
in earth while he is saying they are in paradise. You see, many Christians do not know that in the Bible, paradise or the garden for Adam and Eve was in earth, correct? Right. Okay, but paradise in Islam is in heaven, was not in earth, never was in earth. This is why Allah, he says to, to Adam, get down, get down thee, you know, you and your wife and the shaitan, because it was in the sky. So the problem here that uh, the, 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 the stupid Muhammad, he made the Euphrates as a river and the Nile River from the heaven, which is up in the sky, which is not part of the earth. And he is claiming that this is where they are coming from. Right, so, but what about this Christian Prince? Is the word Euphrates an Arabic word? Where does it derive from? Because oh, uh, no, those, none, of, none of them, I believe, is an, is an Arabic word. Uh, you know, this is from ancient so languages. Say that uh, uh, if, if, the, if the word now and Euphrates is not, is not derived from the Arabic, so how can Muhammad say that it's in, it was, it's among the rivers in paradise? Wouldn't that prove him? To be a liar, since well, he's a. That the Quran is written in Arabic, so why would the the, the title Euphrates be yeah. in in paradise before it was on Earth? When we know that word was derived from the Sumerians, and yeah. they are not Arab Arab people. Yeah, and this the same goes for the the names like Jibril and Mikael and all those things. Why Allah is using those names, which is not for His language, you know? But anyway, the 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 the, the question here is very simple. Uh, Euphrates and Nile River, they are earthly river, have nothing to do with paradise. And Muhammad, because he's a stupid fool, uh, he you know he heard about those great uh, rivers, so he th he claimed that they are coming from because they don't know where they are coming from. They knew that they are really big, powerful, but where they are coming from, they don't know. So he came he came with the answer. Wow. Yeah. All right, CP. That's all I wanted to say. All right, my friend. Thank you very much. Yeah, you know, guys, we say like only uh, when we say only Muslims call, please uh, just do that. Don't call if you are a Christian. I open my sky for Muslims. I thought I have a I have a fish. But it doesn't turn to be not a fish. Where is the Muslims? Not only that, actually, Muhammad, he claimed that there is a there is a uh, there is a mountain of. Uh, uh, of gold under uh, the Euphrates. Let me see if I can find the, the hadith. You know, Erdogan, the poor Erdogan, is desperate to find some oil in the in front of Cyprus. Why he don't look for the gold, which is Muhammad he spoke about under the Euphrates River? Uh, let us see. <clears throat> hmm, here we go. The Messenger of Allah said. The hour will not come and pass before the river of Euphrates dries up to unveil the mountain of gold, which people will fight for 99 years. <laughs> At the end of the day, nobody will take the gold. It's like a cowboy movie. You know, do you see it? Erdogan is signing agreement with Libya because he wants the oil between, you know. He is, uh, you know, being a filthy idiot going all the way to Cyprus. I mean, the guy is desperate to find a drop of oil in, in, in anywhere. But there is a mountain. Turkey is bankrupt. There is a mountain of gold under the Euphrates. And Euphrates is coming from Turkey. Dig it. Why, why we could not find the mountain of gold? And not only that, the mount, the Euphrates. Uh, how we will find the, the the gold? The Euphrates will dry up, but we do not need to dry it. By the way, the Euphrates already is dry because Turkey is sucking all the water. They build many dams, so now like Euphrates, not not much water is coming from it. It's already used, and you do not need to dry the water to to find the gold. There's a mountain. You see the word mountain, mountain of gold. Anyway, I better go and get my mountain of uh, <clears throat> which uh, you know we can sell it. Uh, Muhammad, he you know he knew uh, Muhammad. This guy, this guy Muhammad, he is like a radio station of a fool man who cannot stop talking. And the more he talk, the more he do poo poo. 
and yeah they will fight and from every 199 out of 100 will die if 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 and every a man among them will say perhaps i may be the only one remain alive <laughs> Yeah, all right true story true story yeah okay anyway guys i uh, i think it's time for me to go i uh, i hope you have a good time and uh, let us uh, hope that we can stop a global warming by stopping saying allah akbar because obviously shaitan he fought a lot each time we say it and please learn some manner when you walk by and you see Prophet Muhammad pissing standing in the middle of the street, please don't say Assalamu Alaikum. This is a bad manner because the polite person is the one who unzip, he grab his private part, he wave it, and he start pissing around. That is a manner. But saying Assalamu Alaikum to somebody is pissing is very rude. Please respect yourself. Never say Assalamu Alaikum to Prophet of Allah if you see him pissing in the street because it is not a good ethic the prophet is doing the right thing he is dropping some water and to irrigate your your garden so if you go outside in the morning to drink your coffee and you have a fence and you see a private part of the prophet coming in your fence and the prophet is watering your watermelon or your tomato this is a blessing from allah and please Remember, show respect and don't say Assalamu Alaikum. Because if you say Assalamu Alaikum to the Prophet when he is pissing, as you say, if you see me in this situation, don't greet me again, okay? All right? So I want you to remember this from now on, otherwise Allah might punish you. Remember, this is the Prophet, private part. It's a holy one. And you don't want to mess with the situation. Situation. This is a very holy situation. You know? Please respect yourself. Show good manner. And don't say Assalamu Alaikum and you will be safe. You know? If you don't do that, I'm just teaching you. Like, so you will be safe. Otherwise, the Mujahideen, they will come to your house. You say to the Prophet, Assalamu Alaikum, when he was pissing, he have holding two hands in there. Shame on you. That's that's disgusting. I think this is the best time to spank Muhammad in his in 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 in, in you know in his uh, in his neck like Phew. prophet. We got you busted. You 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 pissy man. You piss in the street. You idiot. Don't you have a manner? Who taught you to do this, mom? Who, mom? Mom, she taught you to piss in the street. Yes, mom, she taught me that. What is that? I'm very proud about my prophet Muhammad. He's the best. Nobody is pissing as he piss. Nobody pisses in the street as he do. The best pissing prophet. Good manner. Good ethic. Women walking by, children, who care? You know, because at the end of the day, Islam is a religion of fitra. What fitra mean? Like you are natural, very natural. Well, natural, what natural mean? You you, you feel you know piss, you grab it, just do it. You know, I mean natural, hippie. The hippie prophet. This is a hippie prophet. Hippie hippo. I don't know if I should call him the hippie or the hippo. Ah, very close. Thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you. Don't forget to download the video, share it with your friends. And don't forget uh, to say uh, Assalamu Alaikum if you see a believer uh, practicing the Sunnah of the prophet while he is walking, I mean, pissing by. Uh, you know, show respect, please. Take care and God bless you. And actually, it's a shame to say the word God bless you after talking about all this garbage. I mean, what's wrong with this religion? Can't we find a good thing to talk about? But what you can say, I mean, this is this is what Islam is about. Garbage in, garbage out. This is the prophet of pissing. He talk, you are going to be pissed off because he's pissing. And he's teaching you how to piss standing. And sometimes, actually, most of the time, he piss uh, sitting. <laughs> uh, what you can do?
Bad boy, bad boy. What you gonna do when I come for you? All right, see you guys. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye.